Hi, this is a reverse osmosis pump motor. Now that's my 24 volts 3 amperes power supply. So let's test the motor. As you can see the motor is not starting. Now even after I have increased the voltage to full it is still not working so it is dead. Therefore let's open it up and see what the problem is. So that's the permanent magnet field for the DC motor plus the magnets are concave and still in good condition. So these are the brushes which seem fine. Now comes the last piece which is the armature or the rotor. On close up you can see the problem is with the armature winding.
now you can notice one thing the plastic is no longer covering this part of the core which is extremely important because a ruptured winding insulation might result in a short circuit so the core insulation is fully complete now comes the marking part now this is a strand from the damaged winding of this armature it's 0.3 mm and here i'm going to use this 1 mm copper wire now before moving on any further with the project let me introduce you to a new member of my tool family an enameled wire stripper plus i'm also going to give you its full inside view link to buy this product has been provided in the description you can buy it from there now let's have a closer look at the machine starting with the back the speed controller provides power to the motor they have provided the cooling fan plus the armature is on bearings instead of bushes so the quality is good plus i always like this kind of brush removal provision and uh, that's the final wire stripping mechanism
So guys, the armature winding is finally fully complete. Now it's time to assemble it. So guys, I have reassembled the motor with the modified armature. Now there is another identical piece and here the armature is not damaged. So trying this old one first. Now this is a 12 volts 8 amperes power supply. As you can see the voltage is 12.1 volts. So here I am connecting this old motor. So that's the speed. Testing the new motor now. As you can see this one is comparatively very fast. Now let's do the RPM measurement. So here I am going to test the RPM of the new motor first with 12 volts power supply. Turning it on. reached around 6000 rpm at 12 volts now let's test the rpm of the old motor so here as you can see the rpm is only 666 at 12 volts now if we do the current measurement for the new motor The current is as high as 8 amperes. 